Yeah, so that's how we display player life. And next, we create an event class. So let's create a new class. Inside of this main package, let's create a new class. Uh, I'm gonna name this event handler. This class also use game panel, GP, and constructor, public event handler, game panel, GP. GP equal GP. All right, and I go to this game panel and instantiate this class. So uh, somewhere around here, a public event handler, uh, e handler equal new event handler and passing this. I think there are several ways to trigger events and this time we handle it by creating another rectangle. Rectangle. I'm gonna name this event rect and also we set this event rect default x and y. and instantiate it in the constructor. So event rect equal new rectangle. And okay, so event rect dot x. So you can choose any size, but I choose a very small size for this. So it will be a two pixels by two pixels rectangle and place it at the center of the tile. So the parameter would be something like this. X equal 23, rect dot Y equal 23, width equal two, height equal two, and also set the default x equal event rect dot x event rect default y equal event rect dot y and uh, this yeah like this the reason I chose it small like this is for example if the rectangle is as large as a tile size the event gets triggered when player's solid area hits the edge of the tile like somewhere around here but i personally want the event gets triggered when player moves a bit further into the tile like this that's why i set the trigger point at the middle of the tile. And next we create a method. Public void check event. And create another method. Public boolean hit. And uh, we receive some parameters. Event call int event Low and string uh, rec direction required direction and okay so william hit equal false and return hit So this is the method that checks event collision and it works pretty similar to object collision. Let me type first gp.player.solidarea.x equal gp.player.worldx 
plus gp.player.solid area dot x copy and paste y and y and y and then we get event rectangles position 2 event rect dot x equal event call times gp dot tie size plus event rect dot x so basically this means this event rectangles world x and okay so copy and paste y and this time this is low and y and then we use uh, intersect method again and check if player is colliding this event rectangle so if gp dot player dot solid area dot intersects event rect then if gp dot player dot direction that equals like direction and or like direction that equals any then hit equal true So if collision is happening, this returns true. And the difference is we check the player's direction this time. So you can choose either the event happens only when player is facing a certain direction or it happens regardless. And finally, we reset the player and event rectangles x and y. GP dot player dot solid area dot x equal gp dot player dot solid area default x solid area dot y equal gp dot player dot solid area default y and also event rect dot x equal event rect default x and rect dot y equal event rect default y yeah so as i said the mechanics is almost identical to the object collision so now we have this hit method we can pass these parameters from here so uh Let's create a sample event which decreases player's life. I'm gonna create a path around here. Ten. Ten. Hmm, okay. And here I'm gonna place a damage pit. So if player hit this tile, then he receives damage. So it's a column 27 and low 16. So we type like this. If hit uh, 27 16 and uh, right equal true then event happens we use this hit method as a condition of this boolean if statement so we pass column and low and uh, required direction and if it returns true, then the event happens. We can type the result here, but then this method will be very long as we add more events. So let's handle it in a separated method. Damage pit. Uh, public void damage pit. And we receive one parameter here, game state. G 
e.gameState equal game state. Then create whatever the result of this event. gp.ui.current dialog. We're going to display a text. You fall into a pit. And we're going to decrease player life. Life like minus one. And since we want to display this text, so we're going to pass a dialog state here. Uh, let me change the format. I think I like this format better. Okay, so this event is done. So let's call this check event method from the player class. So go to player and uh, after this NPC collision, check event and gp dot e handler dot check event and uh, okay. Let me disable this. So start from the ma maximum life. Okay, uh, let's go. Yeah, you fall into a pit. You lose one life. Yeah, like this. This is working fine, but just giving him damage is a bit harsh. So let's create a healing event too and this time we set an event so if you press enter key in front of this water pool you can recover your life so the event gets triggered only when you press enter key while you are touching the event rectangle so first create another event method public void uh, hearing pool or something and get game state and this time we add uh, one condition if uh, ch dot enter pressed equal true then gp dot game state equal game state and okay some dialogue text message current dialogue call and you drink the water and line break your life has been recovered and uh, player life equal player dot max life gp dot key h dot enter rest equal false and finally we check this event if hit column 23 and uh, low 12 and the direction is up equal true then uh, we call that uh, healing pool and pass dialog state. Oops, no, here. Like this. Okay, so let's check. Okay, first let's uh, fall into the pit. Receive damage, receive damage, receive damage, okay. Let's drink the water, so I'm gonna press enter. Oops, nothing happens, why? What? Wait. Hmm, this is weird. What, why? Okay, I found out the reason. So this is the reason, sorry, this is my mistake. 
So if you are not touching any NPC, then、uh, this automatically changes enterprise to false. So I think we shouldn't put this here. And、uh, okay. And I think we should do it after everything was done. So somewhere around here. After we check NPC and event, then we can change this to false. So we, yeah, this, one, this line too, this shouldn't be here. Yeah, sorry about that. So forget about this. So you can delete this. So we handle that line. So here. Yeah, so now this should work. All right. Okay. It、and、okay, press enter. Okay, so you drink the water, your life has been recovered.、Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, working good. So we have succeeded to implement two events, and this time we only changed the player life, but basically, you can trigger any event. For example, When you hit a certain tile, you can teleport to other l o c a t i o n or stuff like that. And、uh, I haven't decided what we will do next, but、uh, probably it's about time to fight some monsters since you know, player has life now. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time.